All right, firing squad of one on three. Three. Oh, oh, they're still alive. All right, welcome back to Resident Evil, the remastered version, which I found out recently. Comes from 2002, actually. In the last part, I thought it would have come out in like 2015 or so, because this is kind of what graphics looked like then. Yeah, somewhat. Graphics looks better than this, but graphics that were this good in O2 is kind of shocking. Um, I still don't really know where I'm going. The game doesn't quite tell you where to go, so I just assume go forward. My apologies. Here we go. Okay. Somebody over here, I think. Correct. <laughs> As I turn left, I get slightly closer. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, shit. Oh no, I don't have a knife. I don't have a knife. Get off of me, you freak. Uh, I'm gonna run past him. Unlocked it. Very cool. Yes. Let's let's get a move on. <laughs> That was a cool ass shot, dude. Seeing him sit down, sit, sit up. I have a brain. What's this? Can't carry any more items. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> uh, oh, that's not good. Okay. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh sweet. Shoot, damn it. Make some use of yourself, woman. Jesus Christ. You know what? I could probably back up and shoot at the same time now that I'm thinking about it. No, I can't. Okay. We're gonna go this way. Um It's locked. Sweet. Um emblem of armor. Okay. Means nothing to me. God damn it. What is this? I can't hold anything anyways. It's locked. Yep, emblem of armor. What happened to, you know, the key that I had? Use a mansion key. Yeah, see, why can't, why is that not like a skeleton key for this house? Gosh, I wish it were. It'd make this a lot, a lot, 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 lot easier. Barry. Oh, hey, Barry. Jill, got any good news? Other than I'm still alive in this madhouse? No. Can't say it's much safer here either. We'd better secure our escape route first. There's gotta be a back door somewhere. All right then, let's split up again. See you later. Ciao. Okay. Um, get into my inventory. Let me use that herb. All right, I got our health into the yellow. Um, actually wanted to go back into that hallway. I know I was running away from that guy, but I think I can dodge him, if not kill him. But I just, I just, I just, yeah, that's awesome. Don't come any closer. Run. Okay, let's pray that guy didn't get back up. Awesome, yep, he's up, okay. I was gonna say, I thought I saw a door down here and I um, didn't go through it before, so let's go through it now. May as well. Let's hope that guy can't bust the door down. Oh, shiny. Shiny, shiny, shiny. Look at that. What is that? Dog whistle? Dude, if that'll make the dogs leave me the fuck alone, sure. Crumpled memo. Today, Sir Spencer told me to hide something where no one could find it. Well, I had this idea. I figured if I could somehow have it protected by a dangerous animal like the vicious canine that lives here, no one would be able to get near it. As far as I can tell, the mutt's always hanging around the second floor balcony on the west side of the terrace, and he ought to come running at the sound of a dog whistle. This is where you come in. The thing is, I reckon you're the only person that can get near that damn dog without risking a serious mauling, which means only you can put this collar on him. The object that Sir Spencer wants hidden is concealed inside. It's in the collar. Okay. You're the only person I can trust with this. Of course, you'll get something out of it, 
out of it as well. Remember that certain item you've always wanted to get hold of? Well, in exchange for your services, I might, I just might be able to get it for you. This could work out well for both of us, John Tolman. Calling it just a certain item that the guy has wanted is a little weird, but yeah, okay. What is that? A lighter. Okay, I mentioned that Shade and Meatloaf recommend I play this game as Jill Valentine on my first run. They also recommended that I find the lighter as soon as I can and kill things with it. Because if you burn the zombies, they cannot come back. Uh, I'm going to go store these shotgun shells, so I'll be right back. Okay, update. I got rid of the survival knife as well because wooden mount, sure. Um, I hadn't used it before, and it wasn't working whenever I got grabbed, so I just put it in the bin. Um, and hopefully I'm not going to need that anytime soon, because if I do, it's going to be really unfortunate since I won't have it. I'll take the lighter. Okay. Now... I gotta figure out how to burn this zombie that's down here. Can I just... It's not necessary to use this. Grab the fuel canteen. So I can pour it over this guy. then burn him. So I have no intentions of him coming back. Not necessary to use this. How the fuck do you light things on fire? Okay, yep, that was the problem. Burn, bitch! See a shadow at the end of the hall. Can I go in here? Locked. Emblem of armor, okay. Maybe I didn't see a shadow. Okay, nope, no shadow. I was just losing it. Yeah, I already saw Chris and that was back in the foyer of the mansion. Oh, herbs. Delightful. Can I... I don't think I have the inventory room to hold in yet. No. Um, the hell is that above the fireplace? Unlit fireplace. Can I light that? Okay, but what's this saying? Lines carved into the relief glow red in the intense heat. Have anything to do with the wooden mount? It's usually mount shit over a fireplace. Dude, I'm a goddamn genius. It's a map of the mansion second floor. Hell yeah. Okay, I'll take that. Alright, and that guy said the west balcony is where that dog is. Okay. Got the map of the second floor. Epic. Yeah, that's what those lines are. I see it. of a helmet. Okay, so I suppose I'm getting different keys. Real fast, I'm just gonna run all these herbs to, um, box. And eh, no, I'm not. I decided against it. I'll just hang on to that red herb. Let's get over to where the dog's supposed to be. Let's hope there's a box, and hope that the boxes work like they do in Resident Evil 7, where, for those unfamiliar, it's kind of like an end chest in Minecraft, or an ender chest, I think that's what it was called. Um, use the mansion key. Could I not go through that before? Anyways, um, for those not familiar with Minecraft, it just means the chests are universal. What you can access in one of them, you can access in all of them. Oh, that's sweet. <gasps> Damn it, get off of me. Fuck off. Can I go in here? Locked. Sweet. Yep, emblem of a helmet. 
Got it. Okay. It's all hard to aim this. Damn it. That got him. Can you stand still? It's hard to shoot you when you're moving. Headshot. Holy shit! Riveting gameplay, I'm sure, guys. I'm sorry. Ugh. Run, damn it! <laughs> Die, fuck. I'm gonna back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up. <laughs> okay, let's go light this guy on fire. Burn in oh. hell. Ow, damn it! Would have been a lot cooler if I didn't, you know, have that happen to me. Okay, that guy died. Is that sweet? You know, I'd probably die too if I got shot and then, oh, fell down the stairs. Um. Ah, yes, item box room. Hell yeah. Um, okay, well, I'll store this in here. And then, is there a kerosene in this room? Nope. There's a typewriter, though. Okay. Let's get out of here. Why is there just a pole in the middle of this hallway? It's not one I can interact with. Is there anything here? Nothing but cleaning products inside. Smells faintly unpleasant. <laughs> is door boarded? The store looks like a chocolate bar. Use the lockpick. Very cool. Yeah, big old chocolate bar. I want to take a bite out of it. Okie dokie. Ah, here's kerosene. Yes. There's still plenty of kerosene left. Yep, refill that. I wonder if there's an upgrade. That'd be cool. Battery pack? Sure, yeah. It said stun on it. Shotgun? Broken shotgun? No. I I have a perfectly functional shotgun. So I'm just now realizing that Resident Evil 7 was... Uh, oh, hell yeah, I'll take that. Referencing this game with a lot of different things. Um, either referencing or just, you know, continuing an important part of the series. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna burn these two guys real fast, but I'll cut it for you guys, make it fast. Now, before I deal with the dog, I have to get the whistle, but I can't remember where the hell that room is. Is it this one? I think so. I know like this will be answered eventually. Not sure what point in the story it will be answered in, but I want to know what happens to Jill and the other guys. His name is Chris, I think. Not the guy that I'm playing with, but the secondary protagonist that it let you choose from at the beginning. Because I know Leon Kennedy is... Oh, hang on. How do I switch to my shotgun? Equip. There we go. Yeah, I'm not fucking with this dog. Anyways, I know Leon Kennedy is the main protagonist of the whole series. I'm going to blow the dog whistle. Blew it. Okay. Motherfucker! Get off! Off! Why'd they make monkey noises when they went down? God damn. Ah, can't carry any more items, that's sweet. Well, I'm gonna burn these guys for certain. Right, I know Leon Kennedy is the primary protagonist in the series. Okay, can't burn the dogs, apparently. I also... No, probably don't need this dog whistle anymore. Discard? Yes. Okay, well now I can grab the thing I needed. Right. Anyways, I also know Leon is not in Biohazard. I know he's not in Village. I don't know much about Village. 
I know a lot about Biohazard because I watched Mark play it and then wait no don't take it yet I'll heal first with these herbs outside I watched Mark play it back when it came out then I played it it's only enough for a few uses yeah treated your wounds that heal me completely okay awesome I've watched Mark play it when it came out I played it myself I watched Mark play it again so I then naturally went on to try and watch him play village but that game did not captivate me very much I'm gonna keep going here see what's up so I got lost on it regarding village Lady Dimitrescu was a character I did not understand the hype or appeal for for a long time. Oh, am I back in the balcony? Or the foyer, I mean. Oh, okay, yes. Yes, yes, yes. There's a switch. Will you press it? Yeah. The hell is that? A coin was hidden inside the collar. Okay. My Mario. What do I care? Let's hit some of the red rooms down in this bottom left side. What the fuck was that? Is that guy dead now? I'm gonna try to use a canteen on him. Oh, yep, yeah, okay. Good to know, good to know. Locked. Emblem of armor. Okay, when the hell am I gonna get these keys? What the hell is this elevator shaft? Did I see that before? Use the mansion key. There's no further use for this key. Discard it? Sure. It's nice that it tells me. This looks a lot like the basement in Biohazard. Oh! Looks like we're having human soup. I'll take the handgun mag. Dude, 15 bullets? Oh yeah, piece of meat from an unidentified source. Yeah, that's, that's human flesh, dude. Um, lighten his ass. Oh, fuck on fire. Back it up. Power doesn't seem to be turned on. Okay. All right, yep, make sure I don't burn myself. What's it good in the fridge? Nothing, apparently. All right. Well, then I guess we go back up. Oh, that's not good. not kill this fucker oh hell yeah okay I thought I was aimed at the ground um, 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 I have a brain he's bleeding everywhere let's burn him alive use that skadoosh wait no maybe I didn't kill that guy but I did see the store lock from the other side okay epic All right anyways moving on we made a little progress we Killed one guy, burned two. <sighs> oh, that's how the aiming works. <sighs> really? Wild. Crazy, even. Okay, that killed him. Bro's got some big ass concrete clobbers, dude. <laughs> Fucking cement slappers on that guy are nuts. Lock from the other side, sweet. Yeah, I know, I know. I just hit the key one too many times. Oh, yeah, that's the guy that died. I remember him. 
Do you have anything useful on you, corpse of your comrade Kenneth? Looks like he's holding something. Oh, look at that. It's the film that belonged to Kenneth. I need a video player to see what's recorded on it. Okay. Well, let's go through the store then. Sweet. That gun's reloaded. making that noise. Shut the fuck up. Ah! They're, they're, ah, they're killing me. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Oh, get him. Get him. Out of, ah, okay. <laughs> okay. Um, that's a lesson, kids. Uh, Fucking, um, respect nature, nature respects you. I shot a crow, and then the crows tried to murder me. Fun fact. Uh, death is only the beginning. Okay, that's not the fun fact I had. <laughs> um, the fun fact is going to be that a group of crows is called a murder of crows. My pun was intentional. A key? How the hell did I not see this before? May whoever takes this emblem find peace in death. Take the mansion key? Hell yes. That sucks. Oh, hell nah. Um. Booby trap? Okay, time to pause and think. Uh, can I place this? Necessary uses. Okay, I'm just putting this back till I figure out what to do. Um. Okay, this has to be combined with something to craft whatever goes there. I'm assuming a fake key. So, time to go look for that. Oh my god, what the fucking shit was that? Guy was fast as fuck. Oh. Is that what happens to him if I don't kill him? Or burn him? Hey, uh, no hard feelings about your buddy. It's like a little hole that it goes in. Something goes in. Oh, God. Changed into the shape of a key. Fucking sweet. Okay. I've healed. I've saved. I've gotten one more kerosene because the tank over by that save is almost empty probably empty now and I think yeah I figured out the key thing a minute ago um, reloaded the shotgun grabbed extra pistol ammo grabbed extra ink ribbons just in case um, I'm ready I'm holding my shotgun because I know this guy in here's some special type of zombie I don't know I know they get like enhanced after a while if you don't burn them and of course, he's not here. <laughs> okay. All that prep for nothing. Yep, take that. And let's replace it with the fake key. Fake key. Yep, meditation, I'm well aware. Yep, 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 yep. Stop doing that. Let's use this. Imitation key. And that worked. Dude, hell yeah. Okay, now I need to use the armor key on stuff. Let's look at the map, see who's got a lot of locked doors. Head over to the east side of the mansion now. You know, kind of get a sort of PTSD seeing that like window up there open. Because in Biohazard, um, the mom comes out of that window, or a window that looks like that in a staircase as well. 
Um, something I didn't mention about that game in the last part when I was describing my time having played it is that that mom freaked me the fuck out, dude. She hit every single thing outside of mannequins on my list of fears. Um, number one being spiders. Number two, I know she wasn't a spider, but she was built like one, dude. It was freaking me out, and I was a good deal younger at the time than I am now. But um, she freaked me out um, because of the spider thing. She also freaked me out because I'm scared of things that are too big for like for their environments um, shoving their way towards me trying to kill me and I feel like that should naturally freak everyone out okay that needs the helmet key yeah I feel like that should freak everyone out um, because like that means it's desperate to kill you or do something to you but um that one got me then there was also the fact that like she's crawling on the ceiling which is horrifying and on the walls um and she also had the whole Uncanny Valley thing going for her. And that whole family kind of did, but hers was the worst. And it was because games at that time were at the stage where, like, they were getting to be really high quality. They weren't high quality enough. Like, this obviously looks fake, right? Yeah, so it was very close to looking human, but not human and very unsettling. Sounds like a dog. I'm equipping the shotgun. I see a dog over there on the left. I see a dog right there too. <gasps> oh my god, shoot! Shoot, damn it! Let go, let go! Oh, that's awesome. Get it off! <sighs> Alright, firing squad of one on three. Three! Oh, oh, they're still alive! I thought I got them all in one hit! Run, woman! Stop fucking around with the bird, damn it! <laughs> oh my god, fuck! Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna go on the second floor. Maybe it'll, if it'll let me. Oh yeah, I had the key for it now. Okay, fuck it. Um, yeah, first floor went horrible last time. We're going second floor. Okay, since this is a balcony, I'm equipping my shotgun. You'll notice I'm missing two shotgun shells since I shot the crows. It's because there was a guy that busted in the door busted down the door and I shot him twice with it. It didn't kill him, so I just ran away. Why can't I grab this ammo? There we go. Yep, give me that. Sweet. Okay. This game's very liberal with their ammo uh, deliverance. It's very sweet. Dude, is that a fucking grenade launcher? Hold up a second, Jill. Take the barrel of your shotgun. Kurt Cobain, that son of a bitch. Like this. Okay, um, that was a waste, I guess. Let's take that grenade launcher. Dude, hell yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Eh, I may as well go over here, fuck it. Oh, some herbs. Is this cutscene? Oh, no. What is it? Fast guy. Um, fuck it. I can only presume this was the guy. Damn, I really did waste that shotgun shell. Let's hope that wasn't a waste of a grenade, though. Here, footsteps. Door. Oh, I know where I am. Yes, okay. Uh, yeah, but this is a new room. Oh, wonderful. Richard. Cutscene. What happened? 
you're wounded. Oh, it's Duke Nukem. <laughs> this whole place is a killing zone. Uh, there are monsters. Duke Nukem, but without the cool voice. What did this to you? A big snake. A snake. And it had to be poisonous. Poisonous? Oh, Richard, hold on. Bring me serum. I saw some, but didn't bring any. I'll Damn. go and get it, okay? You're gonna make it. Thanks. Okay. Um. Well, the view didn't assume I... Oh, wait. Shit, that just told me where it was. Maybe it's in this blinking room. Across the damn mansion. Okay. Hell is that? <gasps> We're just gonna run past him. You guys also enjoy when the zombies moan. Okay, now it's probably a worthwhile time to save. Well, is this where it wanted me to go? This room is blinking. Is it in here? The answer appears to be no. Oh, okay. Can't carry any more items. Alright, well. I'll save. Yep. Use that ink ribbon. I'm gonna save, I'm gonna grab this serum, I'm gonna go run it over to him. Oh! Okay, my health is okay. Run! I'm not dealing with that guy. Nope. No sir. Right, here we go. Here, Richard. Damn, he's I'm messed up. A shot. Hang in there. Jill. Here's my radio. Take it. I'm <laughs> what? You're what? Does it ever not hurt? Okay, yeah, he's fine. Oh, wow. Awesome. I hate this. Dude, how many fucking bullets are you going to eat? Get off of me, tit muncher. What the fuck? Oh my gosh. Alright, we're just gonna run past this guy. Fuck him. Take that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Kindles. I have a lighter. Can I light them? Unlit candlestick. Yes. yes. Okay. So I guess that means I can't. I don't have time for this. That's awesome. Oh my god, the fucking... Oh my god! The fucking aim in this is atrocious. Having to aim with these dog poo poo ass camera angles is ridiculous. That should have put him down. Okay. And for a good fucking measure... Christ, that guy was annoying. Right. You guys remember those old cartoons when something was drawn a different way than the rest of it and it just looked weirdly out of place? This bookshelf does. 
I can push it. Yeah. See, it didn't look like the other china cabinet on the left side of the room. Ah, awesome. Yep, sweet. It's actually, you know, that's a genius spot to place an enemy right around a corner where nobody could have guessed it would have been. Shit ass. Will you take the musical score? Sure, I guess. Let's play fucking Beethoven's Fifth while we're in the middle of the zombie apocalypse. Oh, stairs. You know what? No. Yeah, that's the that door had spider webs all over it. Not going in there. Tell you what. Absolutely not. Oh, Dicky Poo, how are you? Still mutating? I'm okay. The others. Dude, you don't look like it. Your arm looks like an erect penis, man. Shit is rough. I've had enough shit. Equipping this. Okay, he's dead. Good old zombie land double tap rule. Use the mansion key. Is there a save point nearby? Um, yeah, I just gotta run around to these stairs. What's that on the ground? You see the shiny thing? Give me that. What's that? Oh, where did all this come from? Handgun mag? Yeah, okay. Um, hang on a second. I got a lot of sorting and consolidating to do here. Okay. What does that say on the wall? Left you some bullets in the room on the right. Feel free to use them if you manage to get yourself in trouble. Barry. Oh, oh, okay. Shout out to Barry. What is going on here? Let me equip my pistol. That, reload it. What's this? What are those who disturb my sleep? There's a switch here. Yeah, I'll press it. Oh, well, that sucks. I can't interact with this? I think I just gassed myself to death. Oh, no, I can leave. Okay. All right, well, then reset the room. Anything special about these guys? Something in this depression, but the grate is in the way and you can't reach it. From left to right, it goes heart shape, like a plus sign or a cross, diamond, then hexagon or octagon. I don't know if that means anything. From left to right, it goes shield, axe, uh. I, I actually can't tell. Shield, axe, I think the He-Man sword. Okay, these guys are holding shield, axe, a halberd, and a sword. Okay, let's look at this. Shield, halberd. Yeah, shield, halberd, sword, axe. Right. Shield. That guy moved himself. Halberd. Sword. Wait, that reset it. I don't know, I'm just gonna push them. Until they all lock in. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna take the med spray I have. Use that, and then hit this button. Okay, delightful. This time it didn't gas me to death. Yeesh, that was rough. Mysterious box. Will you take it? Of course. I love jewelry. Examine. Always got to give these things a good look-see. What's that? 
design of the sun and the moon. On the plate, it says, sunshine will awaken me. Why did it work that time? Okay, there's a mask inside. A death mask? Sweet. It's a mask without eyes, nose, or mouth. Oh, I know that. I know that. I know where that goes. Okay. All right. I think that's where I'm gonna call this part. Um, got a lot done, but I honestly don't know how much in the whole scope of the story because I don't really know what the story is. I know I'm trying to survive. I don't know for how long. I don't know quite what from. I don't know what the end goal is, but the game's still fun. The puzzles are a little off-putting sometimes, a little confusing. Like, I don't know how the hell I was supposed to solve that box, but oh well. Um, also, cool little Nirvana reference if that was intentional. I know the box itself was not heart-shaped, but there were heart-shaped things on it. Anyways, um, yeah, I'm still having a good deal of fun with the game, and I can tell you guys that uh, I will be playing a second run on this game to play as Chris, or whatever the hell that guy's name is. And I've also got Resident Evil 2, the remaster, because that went on sale a while ago for like five bucks, and I got it. Same thing I did with this one. But anyways, um, yeah. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you like this video. I hope you like this series. Anyways, I'll shut up. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like the video, please feel free to drop a like, leave a comment, subscribe if you're feeling up for it. And as always, I hope you enjoyed.